what is crack a lacking you dig you already know what's going on it is your girl faith here back at it again with another video Woo! okay all right Whew. I did not know it was going to be this hard. Okay. Okay. So, first I'm answer questions. A lot of questions that you guys have been wondering and asking. A lot of questions that I've been avoiding for the past like two weeks. Um, I'm going to answer them. Uh question one that you guys have been asking me where have i been as you guys know i've recently dropped my first music video um so i've been working on music of course but also trying to get that out to you guys because i know you guys waited for a couple months for that video to come out and it took a while because you know i kept procrastinating and stuff like that um that's first. Second of all, am I getting back into reaction videos? Yes, I'm not sure when. Um, because, as you guys can tell by the title, there is something that uh, I have. Um, obviously, like I said before by the title, um, I do have anxiety and depression. Um just to even say that is like blowing me in my mind right now because it's just like it's something i know i can get over for the time being but it just randomly comes up in my life and throughout my life but i don't normally let people see that side of me on purpose but a while ago i had asked you guys about a video like this and y'all said y'all wanted to see it um and i thought i was ready you know i thought i was ready to put it out i thought i was ready to show you guys like how i've overcome and how i've just you know gotten past these certain moments of sadness and just wanting to be by myself and just not wanting you know people to see what i go through but I feel as though it's better for me to put it out there and to show people that even people that you do look up to, such as me and other YouTubers and celebrities, that we're all human. And at the end of the day, life is easy for no one. You know, life is never easy for no one. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your stature is. I don't care what type of celebrity you are. At the end of the day, life is never easy for anybody. And when you know how to maneuver your life once things get hard for you or once things get complicated or you overthink things, I believe that's beautiful. Um, to all the people who have never felt anxiety or depression anxiety for me is when i overthink something and i tend to freak out and normally i would just like just be isolated to myself and just cry a lot um but an anxiety attack normally i shake really bad it's hard for me to talk um I get I get really really quiet I tend to need people to you know help me so I can get out of it because me overthinking can sometimes turn into like a, a an anxiety attack like I just said um and I would just be stuck in that you know what I mean and it could either last for days or it could just last for like a couple hours depending on you know what I'm thinking about and if I can actually get it out to actually talk about it um depression my depression side um depression is sneaky you know what I mean it sneaks up on me when I least expect it um I could literally be having the best day um of my life and all of a sudden I would just get 
really woo okay all right Ooh. I did not know it was going to be so hard. Wow. Wow. Um, I get to this point where I get really, really sad. Um, if it's not about me and what I'm going through at the time, it's about something that has happened in the past. Um, that just keeps you know rolling through my mind that just that it just it doesn't stop and so that's where the depression and anxiety combines because I get sad as I overthink and as I overthink my sadness tends to not only um show but it tends to take over meaning that whatever vibe I have in the moment could easily be shut down within seconds because um because of my mind and the way that I think. Um, it's not easy for someone like me to get over a situation that has happened to me, you know? It's not easy at all. Uh, so, at the moment, I may be like, you know what? I can smile about it instead of cry about it. Um, I can sing about it instead of cry about it. I can do all of these things instead of cry about it. But sometimes when it's as severe as mine can get, such as anxiety attacks, um, that's my only option. Um, that is my only option. Crying is my only option and being by myself and just not wanting to do anything, meaning I don't eat. I don't like being around people. I tend to let social media and um, my supporters think I'm okay. Um, on plenty of days, y'all see me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Snapchat. Y'all didn't see me on those. And I, I post pictures and videos like, you know, today is just a great day. I'm feeling amazing. And on the inside, I'm literally like five seconds from shutting down. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of my story. Years ago, when I was 13 years old, uh, you know, I tried to commit suicide. It was a very tough thing for me at the time. I didn't know how severe my anxiety and depression got. Until I tried to, you know, do that. But that's where my mother stepped in. And, you know, she really saved my life in a, in a really, really, um, in a really great, great way. Uh, she helps me keep my, keep my mind off of things that um, I don't want to think about. Uh, she helps me keep my mind off of things that I shouldn't think about. Um... So my mother plays a really, really big part in um, in my life when it comes to my anxiety and my depression and me just breaking down because my way of showing her that I need help or somebody to talk to is for me to just isolate myself and just say, like, Mom, hey, I need to talk. And I'll get out what I have to get out. But, you know, after it's like after venting, um, people with anxiety and depression know this after venting you still feel like there is something still there that is weighing you down and I just don't know how to explain it you know at the end of the day God plays a big part in my life and so does my mother so me trying to keep those two things intact to make me happy is just it's really really hard because when you know somebody else has responsibilities and 
you know, you it's really hard for you to pray about your situation. Sometimes it's really, really hard to say what you have to say. Get out what you have to get out and hold in what you know you can't. Um, there's been plenty of days where I just sat in the house by myself and didn't say anything because I knew there was other things people had to get done. And at the same time, it was really, really hard for me to focus on prayer or God in general because so many things were going through my head. Um, a lot of people don't think that anxiety and depression is real. But as a person that y'all have always seen smile, you know, laugh, make jokes, um, just being really interactive with the internet, as y'all know, you never see me in a bad mood, really. You never really see me crying. You never really see me saying certain things on the internet that make you worried about my life or living and stuff like that. But um, lately... <laughs> Lately, these past couple of weeks that you guys have been asking for reaction videos and things like that, it has been really, really, really hard. And other people will be, you know, in my life or are just, you know, interactive in my life on a daily basis will be like, you know, is it me? Is it this? Is it that? And it's not. You know, it's it's really not. You know, sometimes, you know, you, you get rid of things or you, you know, solve things and you move on. And it's just like, wow, they moved on. And then you're like, wow, why am I still here? But people with anxiety and depression know that sometimes you could just be stuck still there. So it tends to get really, really rough really really hard this is the truth like the title says about my anxiety and depression i do have it um it's really really hard for me to get in front of a camera right now because i don't see faith you know what i mean like i look in the i look in the camera and i don't see myself you know i don't see that happy person that's just like you know but I was crack a lacking. You dig. You already know what's going down. It is your girl Faith. Like, I don't see that person. I see somebody who's like trying to put on a front. And I've done that for years and years and years and years and years and years. And I've done it to the point where people are like, oh my gosh, she's living her best life. I wish I was in her position. I wish I was in her shoes. And in the back of my head, like, and I do hear that, like, you know, in person and, you know, over the internet, I do see people who like, you know, I wish I was in your position. I wish I could, you know, be doing what you're doing right now. And in the back of my head, I'm just like, if only you knew, you know what I mean? If only you really, really knew. Um, I don't think this would be the position you would want. If anything, I would want your position. <laughs> Because nine times out of ten, it's 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 less stress and less you know overthinking uh, at a time. But uh, that's just the truth about you know who I am and what I go through when it comes to you know anxiety and depression. So I really apologize, and um, I'm super sorry for not putting out you know content the way I'm supposed to to put out you know good videos the way i'm supposed to and i just thought you know after i put out my music video i'll get back to it you know i'll get back to putting out reaction videos and it's not that easy um i sat in this spot and i have turned on the camera at least 20 times in the past two weeks and I just cannot bring myself to say the favorite line that you guys have been waiting for. I can't say my intro without crying. I can't. I pretty much can't do anything because it's just, it's, it's not a good time for me. So, I just want to ask you guys to please keep me in your prayers I hope me explaining to you and also answering your questions about what I've been doing lately have been answered. Um, I just pray that this thing is over quicker than what it's doing, like make it go faster than what it's doing now. Um, 
I'm trying. I really am trying, guys. I am. And I want you to know that I'm not going to give up easily. I'm not. I'm still going to fight. I'm still going to get through it. And I'm going to try my best to realize that I didn't gain 23,000 subscribers for no reason. Um, I really have to think about what good I got out of, you know, doing this so I can get back to it. Because I do miss it. And I miss y'all a lot. And I miss doing y'all requests. So, I just pray that y'all keep me in y'all prayers. And everybody who's out there dealing with anxiety and depression. I just pray that your life gets ten times better than how you feel in the moment. And I pray that whatever you are going through or about to go through or been through in the past just can't seem to get over i pray that every situation that just doesn't make sense to you eventually makes sense and you could just eventually let it go um because that's exactly what i'm praying for for myself and for everybody else who's going through the same thing that i'm going through so i love y'all hashtag faith family for life down in those comments so i know y'all haven't forgot about me and um, just send me love. I just need love. I just need so much love right now. Um, but yeah, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.